The Road to Soul continues as we get closer to the December 10th showdown between the legendary Manny Pacquiao and Korean martial arts master DKU on the world stage from the Kintex Arena in Seoul, Korea, live on pay-per-view. The main event, marking the eight division world champions return to boxing and the ultimate proving ground for DKU's warfare combat system, featuring an undercard powered by future stars. Hey, Pluto do not text to me. I'm trying to get it. Working to become the best of me. I'm doing my job. That includes whipping and keeping the recipes. Uh, I cannot stop. I gotta get it till legends are next to me. Uh, till legends are next to me. Hey, Pluto do not text to me. I'm doing my job. That includes whipping and keeping the recipes. Uh, I cannot stop. I mean, The Manny Pacquiao DKU fight, powered by the Future Stars undercard, will feature amazing young talent, hungry to prove themselves, building their momentum, and in some cases, looking to let the world know they're back in the game. 22-year-old Sean Sugar Rush Garcia, fighting out of Victorville, California, 6-0 in his professional boxing career, and the younger brother of champion boxer Ryan Garcia. Both brothers getting into boxing at an early age, under the tutelage of their father, Henry Garcia. And Sean is looking to reestablish himself as a contender on the road to a championship. I got wrapped up in pointless things that like boxing, you know, you can't be doing. So I was actually 190. Yeah, I was very heavy. You know, I wasn't training, but you know, I have two kids. So, you know, that, that just really put a spark into me. Like I can't, you know, I can't be messing around like that. So I, I, you know, I caught myself letting myself go and I was like, no, I got to change that. Ryan told me, he was like, hey man, I want you to come home with me, you know? Because I think he saw me, you know, gaining weight and everything. He was like, I want you to come home with me and work out. I started training, but I wasn't doing it to get back into boxing, you know? And um, I don't know, I just fell in love with the sport again. And I was like, Ryan, you know, he told me because you owe it to yourself to just try it again. So it happened and I'm glad it happened. I'm glad Ryan was there for me. Well, that's his motivation. That's what Sean needs. He's more than ready. I mean, you can see it right now. He told me, hey, Dad, I love this sport, you know. I, I love that I'm back, you know. So um, that's a good sign. <laughs> you know, for me to lose 50 plus pounds, you know, that was a big step, you know. But it gave me that little, you know, boost. So when I started doing boxing, I wasn't so far behind. I still had to get the timing down back, the confidence when I'm in the ring, but now that, you know, I'm training every single day, I really feel that, you know? I feel sugar rush again, you know? I can slip my punches the way I do. I feel comfortable being inside with a guy, you know? So, you know, it's, it's an amazing feeling, you know, but it takes work, you know, it takes hours in the gym. So, you know, I'm excited that I'm here and I'm ready to just showcase my skills. Well, Sean is gonna, uh, again, be a boxer, but he's gonna be an effective boxer. And he's gonna, you're gonna see what he does to his opponent. So I'm very happy I'm back. I didn't miss much. You know, I stopped my life, my boxing life, but I'm back on it and I feel, you know, I'm young enough to take it even further. And our interest is to always move up, okay? And now that he's got that motivation, there's no way other but then to go up. I just, I, I, I'm seeing myself getting better, better and better, more confident. And that's what you need, you just need confidence. So I'm here to fight, you know, I'm ready, I'm pumped up and I'm just excited to get in the ring and face these top prospects that are coming up. That's who I want. I want to knock them out. Yeah. That's why I'm not here to, you know, be fake. I'm here to just fight you. I'm good. You're good. Let's do it. I don't care if you're 9 and 0, 10 and 0, 18 and 0. Let's go. And that's why I respect the sport of boxing because everyone, you know, everyone has talent in this game, but it's about who has that, you know, that, that will to win, you know? Take, it's not about how much you can hit, it's about how much you can, you know, get hit and just keep going, you know, yeah. just keep going. Yeah, I'm a fan of Manny Pacquiao, and it's an honor to be under his, you know, his undercard. He just, you know, he's so inspiring because, you know, he was never really into, you know, the fame and all that. He fought for, you know, for his country, he fought for, you know, a reason. You know, his family, he knew what he had behind and who he was fighting for. And you can see it when he was punching or in the battles he was, he never gave up. And he just, he was a warrior. That's what I want to do, you know? I'm not here to be famous. I'm not here to do that. I'm just here to, you know, give the boxing fans, you know, a fight. Hey guys, I'm Sean Garcia. Don't miss my fight December 10th on the Manny Pacquiao undercard. Next up, fighting out of El Paso, Texas, Abel Zorro Mendoza. 
26 years old and undefeated at 35 and 0, looking to make the most of his opportunity and build on that perfect record. I think boxing just always been a part of me since my dad's been putting it on the gloves for me. I've seen pictures since I was a baby. So it's just, it's always been in me. I've always, I think I was just born to be a fighter, you can say. It's something that's in me. You know, I gotta always be fighting. I gotta always be in the ring. In the amateurs, I had a lot of amateur fights. So I've just always had that lifestyle to maintain training and maintain fighting. And uh, even during the pandemic, you know, I stayed busy, stayed active. How far am I from a world title? I feel I'm ready for a world title right now. I feel like I'm, if they give me a call, hey, fight next week, world title, are you ready? I'm gonna say yes. I feel good at this weight. I could go down or I could go up. A weight class, I, you know, whatever it comes, whatever the opportunity comes, I'm ready. When people see me fight, I want to make sure they'll, they remember that guy. They're like, wow, that was a good fight. Look how fast he was. Look how strong he was. Look how entertaining he was. I want people to be amazed by my fight and remember the fight. I'm going for the knockout. I'm definitely going to in there and, and take him out as fast as possible. I want to make a statement in my weight class. I'm definitely a fan of Bruce Lee. You know, one of my favorite quotes of his was, uh, empty your mind, be formless, sharpless like water. You put water into a cup, it becomes a cup. Be water, my friend. So it's, it's one of my favorite quotes of his. I gotta go with Muhammad Ali. Just his, he's really fast. Um, he's a bigger guy. You know, I gotta go with Muhammad Ali. Yeah, Manny Pacquiao, you know, he inspired me. It's an honor to be in his undercard. Um, he's a legend. And he was really fast. He was able to catch fighters off guard using the angles. Somebody that I've always looked up to, look up to right now, and uh, I'm just honored to be on the undercard. I think one of my biggest memories is when he fought Oscar De La Hoya. You know, he, he that's when he, I really became a fan of his. And I'm excited to go out there and see uh, part of that world, the culture out there. I've always been a fan of the Asian culture, so I'm excited to go out there. My message to all my fans, um, you know, never give up, never give up on your dream. You gotta keep pushing, you gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving forward, and don't give up. I'm Abel Mendoza, don't miss my fight, December 10th on Trailer Pay-Per-View. And fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Maurice Victorious Lee from a tough upbringing that saw him go through hardships starting at a young age, but through hard work, determination, and faith has overcome personal and professional adversity. Maurice is looking to make his mark in Seoul, Korea. You know, I grew up in inner city, um, group homes, foster homes. So um, my father, when he got out of prison, he uh, got me into the boxing gym because I was getting into a lot of street fights. Yeah, I've been fighting my whole life. Um, you know, uh, my father, uh, and my mother, you know, both had a very hard backgrounds. Childhood, foster care, group homes, um, 11 years old, I was shot seven times. Uh, 2020, I got stabbed 14 times. Yeah, I believe uh, I'm very uh, spiritual. Um, you know, I know I am a, a, a Christian. My faith is very strong. I was in the hospital nine days, I was in a coma. And then, um, believe it or not, I was back in the gym three weeks later, July 23rd. After being stabbed, there was moments when um, I thought my career was over mentally. I had to overcome, you know, anxiety, PTSD, depression. It took a lot of, you know, prayer and resilience and uh, fighter mentality. Uh, I had my return fight July 9th with uh, my new management, Aries Entertainment. And uh, it's just been a blessing. So now we're working with uh, Triller, big things coming. You know, I prayed for this, so uh, I'm fully gonna take advantage of the opportunity and uh, put on a great show. You know what, I, I, I kinda, uh, when I was sparring Pacquiao for the Spence fight, um, I was actually trying to get on that undercard. So, uh, you know, I, I seen it was a possibility and now it's happening, so, you know, I'm just grateful. Sparring Floyd was uh, truly an honor. Um, it was uh, 2015, uh, the Manny Pacquiao versus uh, Floyd Mayweather fight. And at the time, you know, I was in a standstill situation and uh, I really had no opportunity and um, the fight got announced, Mayweather versus Pacquiao. So me and my dad was like, you know what? Like, uh, you the best Southpaw in California. We drove to Vegas, you know, without no invitation, you know, and just knocked on the door during the Mayweather camp. My dad was like, uh, we here to spar Floyd. And they're like, okay, who sent for you? And then uh, my dad was like, Oh, no one did. We just, we know he needs help while sparring. My son will beat any fighter in this gym. So, you know, they got really offended by that. So, you know, I had to go through the, the doghouse, you know. I did really well, did my thing, and uh, I got the attention of uh, Floyd, you know, Floyd. So, 
Uh, one day, I'm in the gym. They're like, okay, you gonna, we're going to let you spar Floyd, but we don't know what day. Just be here, be ready. There was like me and like four other fighters. And uh, I'm sitting there, and uh, Floyd walks in, and he looks at me, but with like an angry look. So like a dog, like, you know, looking at me like I'm a f like a mess you up look. So I had like a few minutes later, like Maurice, get, you, get ready. You know, I was, I'm not gonna lie, Floyd, that's my idol. Um, you know, I, I, when I'm in the ring the first round, um, I was a little shell shocked. And uh, you know, after uh, about three, four rounds, I started getting a little fatigued. And uh, he looked at me and he's like, oh, that fatigue kicking in. Boom, it hit me with a body. He like turned on another zone. So, uh, you know, it was, it was a war. He couldn't stop me. You know, he was really mad about that. After sparring, I went up to him. I was like, great work, champ. He's like, that. He's like, you a You know, he started going off of me like, like, you can't fight for shit. So, you know, I was like, you know, it's my idol. So I'm like, so, you know, I was a little down, but I was like, whatever, man. So I went to go hit the bag and he came up to me. He's like, you know what? I apologize. Great work. Uh, Thursday. So uh, for like two days, I'm just dreaming about knocking Floyd out. <laughs> you know, I'm just like meditating. Like, I knew I had to perform the next time. So, you know, I know what I did wrong. The first time I threw too many punches too soon, he was putting himself there, like trapping me to get tired. So this time, I was very smart, taking my time, and uh, I did so well that he signed me right after. Sparring Floyd, you know, Pacquiao, uh, these, these caliber of fighters shows me I belong. Sparring Pacquiao was uh, another great experience to be in there with a eight division champion. It was great sparring, great work. Uh, the first session was very awkward, you know, his timing, his rhythm. Yeah, you can't really predict him, so we came up with a great game plan after that first session and was able to really give uh, Pacquiao top, top caliber sparring. Oh, he still got it. You know, he was uh, sparring other guys as well, um, cracking them, you know, top, top level fighters. Oh yeah, Manny Pacquiao still has it 100%. Yeah, I want to showcase uh, dominance, and uh, I want to showcase that, you know, it's possible to come back from anything in life. You know, I want to be a motivation to, you know, kids in inner city, Foss Career, group homes, that's what I come from, and show that uh, no matter what you go through, if you trust God and work hard, stay focused, um, it's possible. You know, so I want to dominate, and um, I want to knock out, but never looking for it. I just want to get out of there untouched and do all the touching. I just want to shout out to uh, all my fans that um, see me go through all my demise of, uh, you know, the last two years from, you know, losing my mind to getting stabbed 14 times to, um, you know, starting really having no door open, you know, not losing faith, uh, trusting my Lord Jesus Christ and uh, working hard and uh, just that is possible, you know, to overcome uh, anything in life, never give up. This is a great opportunity for me to have a chance to fight here in Korea. We will uh, give a good fight to the fans. 이기고 지는 부분은 저는 지금은 생각을 하지는 않고 있고요. 제가 훈련을 열심히 해서 어, 파키아오 같은 정말 최고의 선수한테 어, 그제 모습을 또 훈련한 것을 온전히 보여줄 수 있는지 그게 지금 제 목표입니다. <목소리> I have to make sure that I'm 100% condition and of course work hard for this uh, exhibition match. In my opinion, many can't handle my power. Triller Fight Club presents Pacquiao vs. You, December 10th, live on Fight Pay-Per-View or your local cable and satellite provider. Text PAC to 75303 or visit TrillerFightClub.com for the latest updates. Do the fans like bare knuckle? We're here to stay. I think that we just showed the rest of the combat sports world that there is a new player in town. You have to be aware at all times inside the triad because you never know what's going to happen. It's a heavyweight night, Chiller versus. They're throwing them bombs tonight. This is what we came to see. Oh, my goodness. That is how you finish a fight. He, he came. Punch. He did his business. Oh, oh God. God. Good line, boy. Let's go, champ!